Hello students, in this video I will be explaining two problems in which we need to compute the present value of ordinary simple annuities. The two problems will be combination problems, so will be problems in which we have a part when there is an actually an annuity and there is another part where there are no payments and just the compound interest is working. The annuity in the two problems I will be explaining today will have this form. There will be a period without any payment, so the payments are delayed. And this period, when there are no payments, but of course the interest is working, is called a deferred period. So it will be a deferred period, and after that will be a time t in which the payments are happening. And we are going to compute the present value of all this payment at the beginning of the deferred period. An annuity like this, with this deferred period at the beginning, is called a deferred annuity. So, of course, the first problem I'm going to solve is the problem that we have here. Mr. Richards intends to retire in eight years. To supplement his pension, he would like to receive 450 every three months for 15 years. If he is to receive the first payment three months after his retirement, and interest is 5% compounded quarterly, how much must he invest today to achieve his goal? So to explain the situation, I will be making this graph. Mr. Richards intends to retire in eight years. So, He's going to retire and start receiving payments eight years from now. To supplement his pension, he would like to receive $450, so every three months. So every three months, he's receiving $450. And he's doing that for 15 years. So there will be a period of 15 years when he's going to receive this $450. The first payment is going to be receiving three months after his retirement. It's just This is just for explaining that this will be received at the end of the first payment interval. So it means this will be a, an ordinary annuity when the payments are at the end of each payment interval. And after that, it's going to receive at the end of the other payments interval 450. The question is how much he invests today, at that moment, eight years before he is starting the annuity. So this is the question. So, for solving this question, what I'm going to do is computing the present value of the annuity, and this present value of the annuity will be the future value of this period in which there are no payments. This will be what I'm going to do. So, let's start thinking in the actual period of annuity. In this period, the payment is going to be $450, and I'm going to compute the value of the investment that day. How much money I'm going to put here? Computing the present value of the amount that is needed here at the beginning of the annuity period. So I'm going to work first in the annuity. So in this annuity part, the payments are $450. So R equal 450. The interest is 5% compounded quarterly. So R will be 5% compounded quarterly. The nominal rate of interest will be 5% and the number of compounded period will be 4. He is going to receive also the payment every three months. So the payments are going to be quarterly also. So I'm going to use this also for computing the number of payments during 15 years. So N will be 15 times 4 and this will be 60. So this will be the number that I'm going to use in the formula of computing the present value of the annuity. The present value of the annuity will be the payment multiplied by 1 minus 1 plus i to the power negative n divided by i, making a substitution of everything. For example, the payment will be 450 here. Here I'm going to type the periodic rate of interest. The periodic, the periodic rate of interest will be 5% divided by 4. This is the nominal rate of interest, the interest in one year. The periodic rate of interest will be 0 0.05 divided by 4, and n will be 60. Let's make a substitution of everything. So we are going to have this. And then use your calculator. 
I have explained already how to use the calculator and how to put the numbers in the calculator. So I'm going to use the calculators immediately and type the answer. 450 open bracket 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.05 over 4 close bracket to the power negative 50 and divided by the periodic rate of interest. Some calculators will need, will need a multiplication sign here. Some others with a bracket will be enough. I get 18,915.57. So this will be the amount that need to be here at the beginning of the annuity. If I compute the present value of this amount, if I think this as a future value of this compound interest period, I will know the present value of this compound interest period without payment. So the amount that we have at the end of this period will be 18,915.57. For that reason, this will be my future value of this period. So to find the value of this account eight years before, I'm going to use 18,915.57 as the future value. So the present value of the annuity part is the future value of the compound interest part. Okay, this is 18,915.57, and I also know that the nominal rate of interest in this part is the same, 5%. Sometimes we have a different interest, in this case will be the same 5%, and it's compounded quarterly. Because this is a compound interest part, N is actually the number of compound periods. So it will be N will be the number of periods in A years. N equal T, that is a year, multiplied by M is 4. So A times 4 equals 32. And this will be the number that will be in the exponent of the formula of present value of compound interest. So making a substitution in that formula, we have here 18,915.57, 1 plus 0 0.05 over 4 to the power negative 32. If I do that, it so will be 18,915.57, open bracket, 1 plus 0 0.05 over 4 to the power negative 32. I use my calculator and I computed and I found that this is 12,710.96. This is the present value of the amount that I need to put today to get 15 years of $450 every quarter. So Mr. Richard must invest 12,710.96 today to achieve his goal. Okay, so that's solved this question. Let's solve another example where we have this combination of periods in which there is one period with an annuity and one period without payments. The second problem says that planning for their daughter's college education they would open an account paying 6.3% compounded monthly. If ordinary annuity payment of 200 at the end of each month are to be paid out of the account for three years, starting seven years from now, how much did they would deposit? Again here, we have seven years first without any payment, and then we need payment of 200 at the end of every month for three years. Again, I'm going to compute the present value of the annuity part, and this present value will be the future value of this compound interest part. So I will be using that number to compute the present value of the compound interest part, the part without payments. Okay, let's think first in the annuity. So the payments are $200, 200. the interest is 6.3%, so the nominal rate of interest is 6.3%, and this is compounded monthly, so N equal 12. To compute N, that will be N just in the annuity part, and this will be three years, payments are monthly, so the N will be three times 12, that is 36. And this will be the exponent in the formula. Again, I use the formula and I make a substitution of all this value. This I is the periodic rate of interest will be 0 0.063 divided by 12. And after you do that, use your calculator and you found that the answer is 6,544.92. So this will be the amount that needs to be at the beginning of these three years. 
this amount that is the present value of the annuity part of the problem will be actually the future value of the second part. So for computing the, uh, the, the value of this account seven years before, you need to use this amount as a future value. So the future value of this first part here, of the, this seven year part, will be 6,544.92. So this is the amount that you need to have here at the end of the seven years. So at the beginning of the three years, the rate of interest is the same of this part. So we have that R equals 6.3, M equal 12, but the N will be now seven years times 12. So it will be seven times 12 equal 84. That will be the exponent in the formula of present value of the compound interest part. So it will be 6,544, open bracket, 1 plus 0 0.063 over 12 to the power negative 84. Use your calculator for doing that and you will find that is 4,215.81. So the goods deposit 4,215.81 at the beginning of the situation. Then later, at the end of the seven periods, they are going to have 6,544.92, just earning interest. After that, they will be able to withdraw 200 at the end of every month for three years. With that, I finish the explanation of this problem and also this video. Thank you.